Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, if you saw my one of my past videos, I'll post it up here and I'll post it down below. I used this colored plywood to make a bowl. I used like a maple base and then I used these in this configuration, in a vertical configuration, and I made a bowl. Again, I'll leave the link above and down below. I had all these scraps left over and I have a whole nother board here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create another colorful bowl, but it's gonna be 100% just this plywood. I'm gonna make a base out of the plywood. I'm gonna make segments out of this in the horizontal position. Then I'm gonna use these in between the segments in the uh, vertical position and it, I'm going to try to create like a, a woven pattern, like a, a woven basket or something like that. Um, anyway, that's what I'm going to try to create. If you have any interest in, in watching me create or fail this, stick around and uh, we'll get going. All right, here we are at the bandsaw. I set up this little jig here where I'm going to start cutting these uh, the scrap pieces for in between the segments. I have this set up, it's just a slide and a stop, and it's approximately, each piece is gonna be about 5 sixteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up. Alright, so far I cut all these inserts up, hopefully that'll be enough. I cut this piece out of my plank here. I'm going to cut two circles, that's going to be the base. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll cut these two circles, I'll glue them together and I'll put a uh, glue block on there and I'll have a little base. And then these, I'm going to start cutting up into one inch strips and I'll make my segments for the rest of the bowl. So let's go ahead and start cutting this up. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue these like so. So when I cut the segments, they'll be the same height as those uh, insert blocks that I cut, or pretty damn close to the same height anyway. So let's go ahead and start gluing these up. All right, while that, um, those strips are gluing up, we'll cut out these circles and we'll glue these together. Okay, so I just kind of cut these into circles. Um, this, these are going to be the base of the bowl. This little one is going to be glued on here, um, but I'm expecting most of that to be gone at the end of the bowl. So it's kind of like a waste block, even though I'm going to have a waste block, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to hot glue gun this. 
onto here. So that's pretty dry. I'm going to use regular glue. So I have this glued up. I'm going to head, go ahead and just cut it round. And then we can decide what, what size to make the first ring. Let's start making some rings. So I got this up here. I trued it up. It's round, but three inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and start making rings and putting it on here. So let's go ahead and start making some rings. All right, this is what we have so far. This is the first ring of the weave. Um, then I have a regular ring here, and then another regular ring here. The bottom, the bottom of the bowl is probably right around, it's not probably, it is, it's this red line here, this red one, that's the bottom. So I'm probably gonna save most of this and then turn this, I'm sorry, not most of this. I'm probably going to turn down most of this to a small diameter. Then I'm going to create a base, like a pedestal base out of the rings. I don't know if you noticed, I cut these off. I'll make another one if I need to. Then I'll, I'll cut a hole in the center here that'll fit onto what I turned that down to. So then I'll have the pedestal base and then the bowl will begin. 
that should look pretty cool. Um, change of plans. Um, I don't know what I was thinking with this base, but that looks ugly, very ugly. So hopefully I can redeem myself and make a pedestal base. Like I said, if I need one more ring, maybe I'll even slice a piece off of this one, uh, whatever. But anyway, we'll start shaping this part out and continue making rings from here. All right, I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add the second woven pattern here. Um, what I'll try to do is line these up the best that I can. Like so. And, uh, and hope for the best. Alright, that's pretty close. Um, we'll have to see how it looks when I clean it up, but um, so far I'm excited. All right, this is where we're at. Looks pretty nice. Um, I made this base. I'm gonna go ahead and part this off here. I think right there would probably be the best, uh, best look right there. If I part it any lower, it, this is gonna be way too long. So what I'll do is I'll part it right there. I'll take a little thin piece, I'll cover it up so, that, so there's no hole in it and we'll glue it on i'll flip it put it in my cold jaws and then finish off the whole bottom and uh, we should be done so let's go ahead and part this off
All right, here we have it mounted in my chuck. I know I said I was gonna put it in the cold jaws, but I, I have to do some work in here anyway, a little bit just where, you know, where the bottom meets. I just wanna blend that in real nice. <clears throat> I have to blend this in. I still have a good amount of meat here so I could blend this in and then clean and sand and polish everything and then do the inside and we'll be done. All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Here it is. I think this thing looks awesome. It is a nice little pattern. I got some dust on here. Um, it's about, about five and a half inches wide at the mouth, about five and an eighth tall. Um, Look at that, look at that, it's pretty cool. I put this piece of cherry in the bottom to hold my emblem. Um, I, I just love it. I mean, this this colored plywood, really, it sanded nicely, it, it, it cut nice. The only thing, it, it you can't use like your, your standard tools on it, it just dulls it right out. But your carbide tools, you know, it makes a nice clean cut sands nicely but i i really like the way this came out anyway guys i'll give you a close-up and uh you know the deal like dislike leave a comment if you have any questions or comments you know i, lo I love seeing them i try to respond to all of them um thank you thank you thank you Shut up and sit down.